Oh boy. Better pick up some speed here. So it goes. Woo <laughs> Right, so I think we've we've pretty much finished the town here. This is just really just a set piece. Gonna catch some speed. I really hope I position that track right. Here we go. <laughs> Hello, YouTube. Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Tracks, the train set game. And yes, folks, we are back once again. And you guys actually enjoyed the last little episode we did a couple days ago. So I decided to go ahead and try one more thing that was on my mind. And this was actually uh, suggested to me. Uh, you guys want to see us do a little bit more stunts with the train. And yes, we launched the train from a really high distance. But I'm kind of curious. Can we get the train to actually jump from one end of the track and actually land on the other end? So we're going to try that out here today. I don't know if this is actually going to work or not. So we're going to do that. We're going to create like a little town setting for it. And heck, it might even jump the town. I'm not really sure. But anyways, folks, if you're enjoying Tracks on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button and let me know down in the comments below what else you want to see here with Tracks. All right, so today we're going to start here. We're actually in the clear map. I know it looks a little bare, but this is going to be good because we're going to have like almost unlimited space to build. We don't have to worry about stuff to uh, block our path or anything. So what we're going to do here, let's go ahead... Let's place some straightaway pieces, and then let's just go... Let's go maybe two up. That ought to be enough of a jump here. So we'll do that. Uh, let's go into our build menu here. We're looking for these boosters. So we're going to test and see if we can actually change how far the train goes. I'm a little worried that possibly the train's path, once it hits a jump, it kind of takes the same path every time, but we're going to test this out. So we got two boosters here. Two boosters. Let's go ahead, get in train mode here. Let's let the train go forward all the way. Come on, buddy. There we go. Let's get out of there. Here we go. All right. So I really wish I could have marked that. <laughs> Hold on. We're going to watch that one more time. All right. We're lined up here once again. All right. We've got the, uh, the boosters down. Uh, let's see where this thing lands. I think it's about right. So it lands about there. Okay, so what if we were to stick more boosters? Let's just go crazy here with boosters. And we're going to add a bit of track. We're going to see if this actually even makes a difference. Uh, let's go up here. Okay, let's go boosters all the way. So, we've got those. Uh, let me go ahead and place some more track here. and We'll get that train back and see what happens with even more boosters. Okay, so the train is back. We've got even more boosters. I'm going to go ahead and back this train up real quick. That way we can give it as much of a lead up as possible. And let's see if this even makes a difference. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, almost went off the back there. Okay, here we go. So we're going to speed along here. It's going to start hitting boosters, and let's see what happens. All right, we got some good speed. Huh. You know, it really doesn't change the trajectory. Like, you figured, all right, we're going faster. We're going to launch further. So now we have to keep that in mind. When we build this track, you know, at first I was thinking we're just going to maybe jump the town, but I actually have a bit of a better idea, I think. Let me go ahead. We're going to create a loop here. That way uh, we can retrieve this. We don't have to watch the train go off the side the whole time. So uh, let's go actually like this. Let's go. We're going to create a simple loop here, and then we'll be able to go ahead and uh, maybe make some more track lines for it. But this is going to be like our test loop. So, can we get the train to actually land back on the tracks, is the question. So, if we had a big old circle right here, let's go out uh, here, here, uh, let's go here, and it landed right around this area. Can it make that jump? Hmm, I want to say it can. Alright, let's go get the train again. Alright, train's back, uh, we're going to go ahead and get some speed. There we go. Actually, let's give it that. Look at that. It actually does land back on the track. That's actually good. So now we have this endless loop, this jump loop. Hmm. Okay, this gives me a good idea. Now, question is, since we know the speed doesn't actually affect the train and how far it gets, does train cars change any of that? Because I would like to have, I don't know, maybe about four or five train cars on there. Because uh, I think that would look cool. So my plan is we are still going to build a town, but we're going to do an elevated track that's going to jump all the way down down. I don't know if this is going to work. This could be very cool. Alright, so let's watch it go one more time. 
Stunt train commenced. Boom. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Okay. Let me see what we're going to do here. All right. So we have four train cars on here. This is going to be our final test, and then we can start really building. So let's see. Does it change it? No, it does not. So it's going to keep the same trajectory every time. That's good. At least we know this is going to be consistent. All right. So this is our test loop. I'm going to build... Probably off this corner here. We're going to build our actual stunt track. So it's going to break off from here. We're going to build a town around it. I still want to kind of jump the town, but I feel like we could probably integrate the uh, the town a little bit more uh, into the actual track itself while still being awesome and having jumps. It still looks cool. All right, so I'm going to break off a piece here. Let's go. Actually, we're going to do it right here. So we'll go to alt piece and we'll try to get this thing out real quick. There we go. Cool. That looks good. Alright, so that's going to be our loop. Let's make sure the train doesn't take the loop. Stay on the little course we built for you, buddy. There you go. Good. Alright. So I'm going to go over here and we're going to start building. Okay, so what I'm essentially doing here, I'm actually uh, having a little bit too much fun decorating. Uh, I created a little station here. We're going to call this, uh, we'll probably call this maybe Burger Station. So I still do want to create a town this episode. It's going to be a little bit more organized town than what you've seen me create. While still having some fun tracks, so we've got our original loop going here, but we do, oh, actually it's over here, <laughs> I was looking at the wrong one. Uh, we do have an alternate line here, so we can jump on and off the practice loop. Uh, so this is like the main town loop. Alright, we'll call this the, the way to the main town. So you'll hop off here, you'll travel down through Burger Station, which we might decorate this a little bit more. And you're going to take a left. Now if you take a right, you will stay and get back on the practice loop. So this is where the bulk of our stuff's gonna be, so... Hmm... Debating in my head how I wanna do this. I wanna be able to kind of go in and out of the town while also... Almost jumping it. So we will be going upwards. So I think I'm gonna create a normal loop, a normal town loop. And then we'll have the stunt loop that will kind of go in and out of the town. And basically jump it. Now there is some terrain pieces here that we can use to make some elevated terrain. Even though technically we don't need it because the tracks can go wherever. Alright, let's go out here. And we're going to take a left. And this is going to be... Actually, I'm debating here. Okay, hold on. Actually, let's make an alt little uh, selection of tracks. Is there any other ones? Is it just these? I think it's just these. So, there's going to be the outer loop. It's going to be the stunt loop. So, if you want to go into town, you're going to take a left here. So, make that curve. This is going to be probably the main street. This will be where the station is. So, or at least we'll call it the main station. Uh, we can go here. I wonder if we can pick up passengers. So we'll do that. Uh, we can go ahead. I'm going to stop here with that one because I'm going to put some terrain pieces in. Now that's a nice gap though, away from everything else. I'm kind of curious as to how much you could actually fill up here map wise. Because I'm pretty sure you can get kind of insane. So let's go through here. Actually, we're going to take a, this isn't going to be a loop quite yet. We're going to actually going to go back. So we'll be able to go up and down the uh, the streets of the city, and then we'll kind of come out here. So I'm going to create like a little rough loop, and then we can decorate around it. And if I want to change something uh, from there, I can. Uh, so we'll do this. We'll kind of make it, it'll go in and out of town. We'll probably have like a neighborhood or something over here. There we go. Um, is that even? That is now. Okay, so we're going to go right back out here. And then we're going to go straight out. So we're going to go really out on this one. So this is your normal, typical safe loop. We're going to call it the safe loop. Uh, we're going to stop about right here. Because there is a terrain piece that I'm kind of curious about. It really just looks like a big mattress is really what it is. But can we use this? Can we stick stuff on top of this? Let's use this out here. As an example, and what if we were to grab, I don't know, even just this little town sign. Oh, huh, I can just name this. Okay, let's just type in Komodo for now. Can we place, oh, we can place it on top. So we can create a mountain. Huh, that is a bit of a game changer, is it not? We can create a mountain. Maybe that's where our stunt track is going to go up to. Ah, this could be awesome. Okay, let's go ahead. Uh, to create a mountain, we're gonna, it's gonna be like an even mountain. So let's go terrain block here. Which, you didn't give me the terrain block. There we go. Can these be stacked on top of each other? Why can I only pick one of those at a time? It's a little annoying. So let's go here, here, here. 
And let's grab one more. And so that creates a, is that even? It is. Can we go? Okay, now the question is, can we stack another one of these up? Oh boy. Yes, we can. Okay, I gotta, my OCD is gonna kick in. I gotta get this even. You know what? This actually needs to be bigger if this is gonna be a mountain. All right, I got a little bit of work to do here, guys. I will see you guys here in just a second with hopefully what looks to be a a bit of a mountain. <laughs> it is, it's gonna be kind of a squared off mountain, but it's gonna be a mountain nonetheless. All right, so this is looking a little less like a mountain, more like an aggressive hill. Well, you know what? I guess to scale, if you're down here as a person, that's still not a mountain. Huh. We could probably make that even bigger, but I don't want to waste too much time on that here today. So, okay, now that we got that figured out, what we're going to do here, we're going to go ahead. I need to figure out how to make these loops connect. So we'll continue this little journey out this way. There we go, all the way over here. And now, actually, that's too close. Let's go ahead and go one couple more out, and we're gonna go all the way over here. There we go. So this is gonna get us on. I gotta figure out these loops out. This is one thing I need to uh, need to evaluate here. So if we're on the loop here, we're gonna come around and we're gonna swing back in and connect into this junction, or do we need to create another one here? It's very possible we need to create a new one. Because if not, we'll get stuck on this loop. Let me figure this out real quick and we'll see what we're gonna do. All right, so the loop is completed. I have it actually routed back onto the track that was on the way to the town. That way you can still have the option to go back on the test loop or go back into the normal loop and then you'll have the option once again to go onto the stunt loop that we're, what we're about to create here. So, stunt loop. Stunt loop's gonna wait. Uh, I'm gonna stop right here with it because realistically I need to create the town next. Because I do wanna kind of incorporate the stunt loop maybe with the town a bit, probably on this outer part. So I'm gonna get busy to doing some town building. I'm not, not gonna bore you guys to death with me just building the town. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a lot of stuff together and then kind of show you guys what we have going on here. Uh, but if that's something you wanna see in the future as far as me actually building the towns, uh, let me know down in the comments below, but I'm going to get to building here. I've got a couple ideas for the town. And plus, I think we're going to need a name for this town, too. Alright, so I think we've we've pretty much finished the town here. This is just really just a set piece to kind of, I don't know, make it not look so barren here. So, we got our little town here. I try to use as many buildings as possible. There is kind of a limited set of buildings. So, uh... What we have here, we have our main station, and this, of course, says station. You come in from the loop from here. Uh, one little thing for all my uh, normal viewers, you'll notice the uh, Komodoville. So, yes, that's the name of the town here. Come through here, you've got like a little commercial section. There's your hospital, your police station. Oddly enough, they don't have a fire station. Uh, they have a fire hydrant, so that is your fire station right there. So, you go through here. Uh, we're going to have like a little grand opening. We'll go, go down this track and set off these fireworks. So yeah, we'll go through here. We've got the neighborhoods. Now, this is where it's kind of limited. You've got all the houses kind of look the same. You can turn it on to random, but it gives off these kind of odd colors. So we did that in some, like, neighborhoods, and then we have some that look kind of the same here. So, yeah, we have uh, one more station set up here. This is actually a little bit different from the, uh, the main station. And then you'll pull right out through here, and then you'll go in and out. It's kind of weird because it does loop itself in and out of the town, or at least in and out of the fenced area. So, uh, the last thing we have here, we have like a little industrial district here on the side. And then we pop right back out, and here's where the train is still running over here. So, that is this loop. We're going to actually drive through this loop real quick, and then we're going to go around, and we're going to go up and try to create something cool with this mountain. And then, at some point, I do want to do some jumps. So, we're going to see how that's going to work. But anyways, uh, let's go ahead and go for a little bit of a train ride here. All right, so we are ready to take a little bit of a ride here. So we're going to need to take a left right here. We're getting off the practice loop, and it's going to swing us through. Uh, we'll call this Burger Station. This is the station before the town. So let's hold left, and then boom, we're on the town loop now. So we're away from the practice loop over here. And take another left, and this is going to actually put us on. I forgot the other way's the, the, other way's the stunt loop. So here it is. Oh, this is so cool, and here come the fireworks. Oh, and... Oh, waiting for him. Come on, go off. There we go. So yeah, we're just gonna, gonna kind of cruise through town here. Pretty cool little uh, 
cool little view. I, I like little scenic games like this where you get to create stuff like towns. Uh, there was that other train game that we played not too long ago that was similar to this. Uh, maybe a little bit more detailed in its town building, but yeah. Pretty cool. I, I like this. This came out nice. So we're going to go out this way. Let's go ahead and pick up some speed. I don't think I want to put any boosters here. I think that's very unnecessary. And here we go by the industrial district, by the factories. And this is going to push us all the way out. Now this is going to get us back on to this loop. So there we go. Good to go there. Go ahead and pop back. So yeah, let's see. He should actually stay on this track. So he's going to jump back onto the practice loop. Yep. There it goes. Oh, actually, it's going to derail here because I haven't told it to stop. Maybe that should just be a turn. You know, one other cool feature, which I kind of hope they eventually add, I would like to see multiple trains. That would be uh, very awesome to be able to do. But anyways, uh, it is time to go a little crazy with some tracks. So we're going to interact with this mountain over here. So I guess the first thing to do with the mountain is to actually get on the mountain. So we're going to go, actually, let's go one back. Uh, let's start our climb here. Now, they do have a track support piece, which is kind of cool because it makes it look like the track's not, like, magically floating in air. You know, we could have done a corkscrew up here. Actually, no, I like the hill. So, we're going to go up here. Let's make it hill up again. Actually, I thought I was going to make that. Let's go here, here, here. There we go. We're at the top of our quote-unquote mountain. Cool. So, we're going to drive all the way... You know, it would be kind of cool if we can get this closer. Let's uh, let's back off a bit. And let's go down here. If we were to go straight, I want to take a left here. Because I want to be able to see the town when you're up on top of this hill. So, we'll take a right right here. There we go. That'll give you a good view. I know it's not going quite up on the top of the mountain. But I, I think I'd like this view a little bit better. So, this is on the way to the stunt section. So, let's go ahead and start climbing here. Oh, boy. Oh, I'm trying to think of what we're all going to do here. I do want to have a jumping section. So I want to see this thing skip tracks. And I see, is the train? train is way off in the distance. It is still derailed. It actually looks like it's coming back for some reason. So, we know that it can clear only one set of tracks at, at a time before it starts dropping. So, if I were to do a gap like this. So, say, we, say we're just a fall, I don't know, straight off right there. So, we'll stop right there. And I need to go, actually, no, I don't want to put the fireworks up here. Yeah, we'll probably put them up here. I need to create a, we'll call it an opposite side of the track. So, the stunt track's going to come through here. It's a little awkward how you have to place some of these tracks. We're going to need a, basically a spot for the stunt, stunt track to actually land. Uh, I'm going to have it do a drop here. So, let me go ahead. I need to find, do I have an open piece of track over here? Uh, we could probably cut a piece over here. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to cut over into, actually, can I just change this? Can I make it go forward? Okay, I can. Uh, I don't want to make it come forward on that side. We'll go on, let's go on this other side real quick. All right, so for the first part of our stunt ramp, uh, we have, or the stunt track, I should say, we're going to have a massive drop, and I think that it's going to be able to hook back onto the track down here. That's actually insane looking. And then it's going to come down here. Of course, if you want to get back home or want to go back to the normal route, you'll be able to go straight. But uh, to stay on the stunt route, you're going to take a right and we'll start to do some more stuff down there. So, let's go ahead. We need plenty of boosters on this thing. So, let's go into Booster City here. Oh, I placed one way down there. You know, I don't know if there's an object limit. I think it's you go until your computer decides that it can't go anymore. Uh, but we've got quite a few objects spawned in right now. Still is running uh, really good, though. So let's go ahead and we'll start picking up speed along here. Cool. All right. So we've got that. Kind of feel like we need to test this out before we start anything else. All right. So we're about to pass by town. Say goodbye to the town. We're on the, uh, the stunt route. Uh, we're going to pass through the windmills here. I kind of want to see what the town looks like from the top of this big... We'll call it the big mountain. It's really just a big oversized hill, but still, it's a mountain in my books. So we're going to go up here. It's going to take a left. It's going to take a right, and then we can see off the big cliff. That's actually nice looking. So get ready to scream. Here we go. We're going up the hill. Let's go ahead and see this from the from a distance here. Oh, <laughs> oh the, the game is way, <laughs> way more forgiving than I thought it really should be. Like I, I kind of want to see that derail. Uh, we actually cleared that. 
Oh, we cleared that probably about to right here. But I can't believe it. I mean, it actually worked. I mean, it worked just fine. All right, so I've got everything connected the way I want it to. The train is still doing crazy. The train actually just went through the mountain. What? <laughs> Hold on, it's about to pop out. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> I don't know what it's doing. <laughs> I've never seen it run through objects like that. Okay. Oh, it doesn't matter. Anyway, so we're going to start creating a little bit of a crazy section here. So what I think I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to corkscrew up to a high point. And then we're going to do this little uh, dropping off thing. It's going to be kind of like what you're seeing here, this little ramp. Sever, it's going to drop off, turn around, drop off, turn around. It's going to do it all the way from a high position. I pictured that could look kind of cool if I can uh, actually build it right. So, let's go ahead and get the corkscrew here. Uh, I love this piece. It's probably one of my favorite pieces in the game. Now, the question is about this corkscrew. Can I actually... Uh... Ooh, that is a good question. I need to figure out if I can even put boosters on this thing, because uh, this is going to be... Hold on. This is going to be really pointless if I can't do that. Let's go ahead. Let's just start it from the bottom here. So, let's go out and then right there. Okay, we're going to go ahead and grab the corkscrew. All right, buddy. Can we... Uh... Can we put boosters on you? Because I really, really don't want to wait a long time uh, to get up to the top. So, I'm going to put a booster there. I think we could put a booster on each point of connection there. So, that should be fine. Because uh, I want this to be fast. Uh, we don't want a, a slow stunt route. That's not going to be any fun. Okay, so what are we going to do here? We have our big corkscrew that leads all the way up here. We'll stick some more boosters up here in a second. But I do have boosters on each of the little uh, circles here. So, we're going to create a, it's going to be a back and forth, back and forth. Actually, I want to make this go under itself. That would be even cooler. So, what I'm going to do here, uh, I hope this holds up. Obviously, all the parts in the game float. So, I'm going to delete the middle portion. So, this train is going to have to hop, which we're going to run a quick test here in a second to see if this even works. Uh, but it's going to have to hop back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And I'm going to put boosters on this, so it should create a fairly fast fall, and it could be really cool. I'm kind of curious as to what type of gaps I should have here, so this is going to be our test run right here. Alright, so here's our first jump. <laughs> oh, this is a little more insane. Oh, this is like a roller coaster. I was a little bit more insane than I thought it was going to be. Alright, so here comes the corkscrew, so let's see how fast we get up these. Man, I wonder if I could put one more booster there. I mean, this is okay. This is a lot better than last episode's corkscrew. Uh, but this is still a bit on the, uh, I would say, slow side. So we're almost to the top here. I'm debating if I want to do... I should probably do this in third person up here. Let's go ahead and let this continue to climb. And Oh, that looks insane. That is so awesome. Okay, so question is, what kind of gaps can it clear? Is it going to derail once it gets up here? Or can we go even bigger than what we're doing here? So here we go. Oh boy. Gotta pick up some speed here. So it goes. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. All right, that works. And then, uh oh. Oop. <laughs> I wanna do that all the way down. We'll hit another corkscrew right after that. All right, so we have confirmed that that works. I'm actually kinda proud. All right, let's uh, continue some work here. Okay, so we got another piece of the stunt course done. Of course, we uh, just finished this. But I added a little, uh, little, what do we call it? The grand finale to this one part here. We're going to jump a house because uh, that's, I don't know if that's possible. Okay, so let's go get our train. Uh, we're going to do that. And we'll probably, uh, as soon as we jump the house or if we, I'm kind of curious if we're going to make it or not. Uh, we'll swing around and we'll try to figure out something else we can do stunt wise. I have added some boosters here to try to keep this as fast as possible. Ooh, I could add boosters to these too, couldn't I? Is that overkill? Is there such thing as overkill when it comes to boosters? I don't believe there is, but uh, I don't know. We're going to do it. This is so cool having this set up here and then looking off in the distance and seeing the town there. Oh, I love this game. All right, uh, we're almost ready to do another little test here. All right, here we go. We are ready to start stunting. Back up the first part. Ah, this thing is just a roller coaster. It's all it is. There we go. All right. Oh, this is definitely so much more speed through here. This is great. There we go. Uh, if, you know, I need to really look at this corkscrew. I still think there's maybe one more spot that I could uh, put another booster in. Uh, let's go ahead and pick up some more speed. And here we go. So this is the moment of truth. Does this go down all the way? Boom. 
Oh, yeah, we're picking up some speed. Oh, I don't think I can keep in first person doing this. Oh, dear. Oh, this is insane. All right, let's go ahead and break off from that. There it goes. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. All right, here we go. Can it make the house jump? And we're going to jump the house. No. Oh, it can only really jump one track at a time. That's so disappointing that you can't jump more. All right, so as far as how we're going to be able to get over that house, this is probably our best solution. A little disappointed that we can't jump it even further, but we'll get over the house. <laughs> Too bad we couldn't put little people down here. So, we're going to do that. I've created a little whoop section, and for this episode's grand finale, we're going to have one more big drop, kind of like the one over here, except for it's going to be massive. So, let me go ahead. We're going to do the same corkscrew setup, because that's the most efficient way just to get up without just creating a huge hill, which I still kind of want to do the huge hill, but I think we'll save that for something else. So, just going to grab our corkscrew pieces, uh, get up to the top here, and we will see you guys here in just a moment. All right, folks, so we have the tallest drop set up. Now, I just winged it here. I think... <laughs> huh, let's look straight up. I think it's going to drop down on this track. So I did go ahead and route this in. Now, if we do another episode here, we'll go ahead and do some more stuff back behind the mountain here. But I did route it back into the uh, the normal track area. Probably should have did it on the other side, but it doesn't matter here. So I think we fixed the house jump. Now, I did figure out one more thing. Uh, we do have boosters on both sides of the corkscrew. I don't know I was complaining about that. I don't know if those second boosters are actually making contact. Uh, we'll see with how much speed we can carry up this thing. So yeah, we're going to go straight up here. And oh, I forgot some boosters. We have to have boosters to go off this jump. It's a, it's a must. That is a ridiculous drop. Plus that gives you an absolutely excellent view of the town down there. Okay, here we go. We're at the top of this. Uh, we're going to watch it come down here. There we go. And whoop. And it's going to slowly pick up speed all the way down. <laughs> this is awesome looking. All right, so we're going to get all the way down to here. I think I corrected the house jump. At least I hope I did. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to do it here. There's no way it misses this house jump. I mean, this is a simple jump. So come down here, skip the tracks, come up here, hop up, boom. Here we go to the uh, the whoop section. <laughs> and here we go. This is the new fast corkscrew. Oh, it is actually working. Oh, oh, boy. We're about to do the big drop. I want to do it from first person, but I also want to see it from here. So we might have to give this one more run and we'll ride a board on the last one. So here we go. That is a huge drop. Oh, this is way bigger than the drops we created last episode. So it's going up to the top. Gonna catch some speed. I really hope I position that track right. Here we go. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. Come on. Come on. Did I get it right? Did I get it right? Wait. <laughs> did it just hit like an invisible uh, something? Uh, uh, what did it just hit? That almost looked like it was, it was on track. I don't know where it went though. Huh. Nonetheless, that was pretty awesome. I'm going to I'm gonna go do that one more time on board, and then we'll, uh, we'll wrap this episode up here, folks. All right, here we go to the top of the hill, and we are ready to have a massive drop from the first person. There's the town. Oh, you can see it. This is awesome. And we're going to hit the invisible whatever we hit last time. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, yep, we just hit it. Oh. Huh. You know, we make it about, I want to say we make it about maybe two or three We'll call them lengths uh, from that point. Maybe we should just raise the track over here. That way we still hit it. But anyways, that's probably going to about wrap it up for this episode of Tracks. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode here, folks. Uh, if you have any ideas for future episodes, comment below. If you want to see more of this, maybe hit that thumbs up button. Uh, let me know. Uh, honestly, uh, I enjoy this one. I'm thinking about revisiting the other train game. It's like Train Frontier Classic, which is kind of similar to this in far as, as far as the town building and the, uh, the ridiculous track setups. So we might do some more of that. But yeah, hope you guys have a great day, and we will see you guys next time on Tracks. Thank you.